10 facts about the U.S. arms trade. Number one, the U.S. is the largest exporter of weapons. The U.S. alone makes up 37% of the global arms trade. Number two, countless civilians are killed by U.S. weapons every year, causing grief and community loss everywhere the U.S. arms trade touches. Number three, weapons companies are complicit in murder. From Palestine to Yemen, weapons manufactured in the U.S. are being used in conflicts all over the world. Number four, the arms trade is causing the climate crisis. The use of weapons harms our environment. The manufacturing of weapons contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, as well as the transportation of weapons to wherever they're being sold. Number five, the acceleration of the climate catastrophe will be used as a reason to sell more weapons. The more we let climate change be referred to as a quote-unquote national security threat, the easier it will get for our politicians to react to resource shortages and climate emergencies with violent and exclusionary policies. Number six, the reliance on weapons manufacturing stops us from investing in things that really matter. We could instead be investing in our present and future by creating more green jobs. Number seven, the arms trade corrupts U.S. and global politics. Members of Congress and people who run for president typically take a lot of campaign donations from weapons companies, making them more beholden to the companies they get money from instead of people like us. Since these companies profit off of war and killing, our representatives are more likely to vote for war and military spending increases. Number eight, the U.S. arms trade makes us less safe, not the other way around. There's no doubt that the United States investing its time and money into violence will only result in more violence. If we actually want peace, we won't get it through arming more conflicts. Number nine, there is no humane way to use a bomb. All the large military-grade weapons made by companies like Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Boeing are built with the intention to do harm. And last but not least, number 10. It's not too late to find a new way to engage with the world. People are rising up and resisting the arms trade all over, but there needs to be more of us. You can join our campaign against the U.S. arms trade at codepink.org forward slash call to disarm.